Oops, I need to go down. Food. So after these guys, what are we gonna do? Where's mutant? the second fly? A mutant? Uh, Where's the second yeah. fly in this one? Right here? Oh, it's in the other entrance, okay. Oh, you scared me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're scaring me. Because we only have mutants left, right? Yeah. No, we have control. Well, we need one we more control then. Yeah. We have this control and then... We, we have, have two have controls? Control. No, this is the injured one, remember? Oh, man. Unless it wakes up. <laughs> oh, that's the injured one? <laughs> Unless it wakes up. What is this? What's this? There's it nothing in there. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. He's hurt. <laughs> What's on the new geotaxis? The one we did, the first one. Um, Negative geotaxis. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. It's uh. Oh yes. The one and that was where we had to count like a thousand flies. Like yeah. This one. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was the one we had to put in Excel. Yeah. So still we were tapping it, but without alcohol, just like that. You would tap them and see. I remember. Mm -hmm. That was, was the one. Lines? You were gone for that one. That was the one me and Daniel did, right? No, I was there. You was there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one did we do then? We, you did the the first time you transferred the wilds and everything with the carbon dioxide. Mm. I was in. Okay. That's right. It was the reverse. Daniel missed that one. You was here. Yeah. Okay. You get reversed. Huh? I haven't missed a lot. No, the I that was. I've been here every day. Well, no, there was one lobby one. Yeah, because that was the one we did made the first oh, food one, for the first one time. One Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, I was here for the. Or food. you came late. I was because here for the food no, making. you weren't here for one lobby. Yeah, but I wasn't. I was certainly food. here. I remember making food. Yeah, that, that was, was the second. Time. Oh. We made food more than once. Yeah, we made okay. more. Yeah, and the then we doubled time. it. Cause oh the my first god, these two are fighting. Yes. Yeah, they're fighting. Why are you chasing the other one? Look at that. <laughs> it just hunts him down. Oh, just both the I controls. The the... And are you, does they think you can find it? Yeah, it's Yeah, if you clear. zoom in, you can actually see oh, the little okay. legs moving around and everything. All right, all right. Well, that's a new method. Just both so the controls. So, we're not in trouble no more? <laughs> uh... So you it can just see you have to be consistent. Are moving. Yeah. It'll look better on a uh -huh. a better on bigger the, screen with like better contrast, computer. but it's visible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. HD. We can, so uh, you guys, you guys are going to score independently. I didn't see whether you have the same score yeah. or yes. Okay. Yeah. I guess but that's so, yeah. a better way to do it. Then, so uh, so what's on the sides there? Control. The control fight. Yeah. Then the KO don't. That's what's happening here. <laughs> Antisocial. Wow, look at the control. They're fighting so yeah. bad. Look at all the wing flapping. Mm -hmm. The mutant, they don't care. Well, now they're getting close. So what do you think, how do you think we should uh, quantify this? Should we quantify this yes. as like how long they spent uh, fighting or how many times they fight? Or they're both important. How long? Oh yeah, both important. They're both important, I think. Yes. And we were gonna count the how many times they launch and the wing expansion and everything. Right? Well, if you do both, the how many times it's gonna be hard, right? Let's say if they flap their wings, yeah. are you gonna count how many times they no, flap no, their wings? No. Right? It's mm -hmm. and then no do you times, if they though. keep counting flapping the wings, is that just once or is that multiple times? I would say it's once Mo if oh. there's a gap and then they do it again. Then that's the second time, right? Yeah, but how? What do you call a gap? You know what I'm saying? If they do it and then they do it again, is that a gap? Uh. So it's going to be hard. So if you are doing the time, I would suggest you just get a timer every time and look at one at a time. Every time mm -hmm. you see it doing it, push it and you stop, stop it, and then it stop. So it's like a stop and go watch. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you can use that to cal calculate how much time you spends yeah. uh, doing. That's how the score course you. So you just uh, use a stop and watch. Uh, times is harder. Uh, the people who do that, they actually have a computer that mm -hmm. kind of analyze it. I mean, you can do it too. Um, so is there a numerical value to the flap in the wings? Like, if they flap it three times, does that mean something? Do See, that, that's what I think it's... No, it doesn't mean. No. It's not like they okay. do three times means yes. Three <laughs> yeah. times means no. Okay. no. I, I don't think so. Okay.
So the KO flies are really um, somewhat yeah. social dis- social Retarded. inhibited. Yeah, there we go. Care. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> they they keep a safe distance from each other, and they're but they don't even want food. That's they what don't. happened last time, though. Look at so, this. So. Look at this. So they act as if they were not socially isolated, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that, see, in this it case, it will be kind of cool just to see what kind of genes are responsible for uh, aggression. aggression. Mm-hmm. So from what I'm looking at here, you know, group two is required mm-hmm. for the normal aggressive behavior. Mm-hmm. Since group two is a kinase, that phosphorylate G protein couple receptors, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? So that means G couple receptor uh, pathways are in general important. So if it's important, then GPCR is a very big family. It can be dopamine signal. It can be a lot of other neurotransmitter signals, right? So they must have literature out there mm-hmm. for you guys to kind of see which one is uh, more related. Does it make sense? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, this is very cool. We may just start a new research project. Mm-hmm. This is a new phenotype. And you can maybe even combine some of these things so you could get the flies drunk and see if it changes their aggressive behavior or mating behavior. Oh, they're drunk? Yeah, Won't they like, be like... Not like, oh, not like 100% drunk, oh, okay. like maybe get it to where like well, you, you a good see. portion are drunk and then see if they're more aggressive. or. More. I would say you would make it less, right? Yeah. Just yeah. because uh, alcohol generally kind of depresses your mm-hmm. nerve system. Yeah, but and, some um, people get belligerent on alcohol. So maybe but some they're more simple might. though. Their yep. system is more simple than ours. Well, well, the flies that become hyperactive at low con- uh, concentration of alcohol, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but then at some point you're going to, your senses are going to become numb and yeah. you're going to become like uh, you know unbalanced, disoriented, so, and and sedated. So like tipsy flies, not drunk flies. We would want to see how aggressive or how their aggressions change, maybe. Like not 100 mm-hmm, percent mm-hmm, knocked mm-hmm. out. Flies. You mean like a hyperactive flies? Yeah. Or maybe do like what? Dose of alcohol would make them it's less aggressive or more aggressive. Yeah, like it's 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 hard to do that. Uh, it, it's going to be hard to do that just because look at how long it took the flies to become aggressive towards each other. Mm-hmm. Like the fruit flies, uh, you see how fast it is for them to lose their writing and they fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Like so, the challenge will be how can you ensure that the flies are kept at that level mm-hmm. of activity without having fluctuations in the alcohol concentration. Mm -hmm. Because if you just expose them to alcohol vapor or feed them alcohol, over time they're going to have more, Mm -hmm. right? Because you'll be, and also you'll be a balance of how much alcohol they they actually absorb in the blood and how much alcohol is being degraded. Mm -hmm. You'll be very hard to do that. Just in terms Mm -hmm. of the, uh, the challenge of how much time it takes to score this. Yeah. But however, they did look at other factors like starvation. They have shown, well documented, if you starve the flies, it yeah. increases their Ingress. behavior. I can see that, like humans. Plus, yeah. <laughs> right, and then, and also if you have unmated uh, males, then they tend to be more aggressive too, mm-hmm. because of sex drive. Mm-hmm. I think dopamine is involved in this. It has to, right? <laughs> Because dopamine is important for all the motivations. Yeah. Yes. That's pretty pronounced. The problem will be our um, our T test. If you have zero for the other one, then they there's no T test. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this one has. Is this consistent with what you've seen last time? Yes. You also saw this very dramatic difference. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. It's a very strong phenotype. I'm happy that it's so strong. Because when we did it the first time, it was very uh, discouraging. Mm-hmm. And we even saw it in the other um, platform, what you had in the, what was it, Kibiko? That little one? We saw it as well. Oh, yeah. The, the mutants were the staying away. Thing, yeah. I like this one more just because the chamber is smaller. Yeah, small. And um, I, I thought the the visual, right? It's, it's easier to observe. Uh-huh. That's 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. 